What's going on smart people? You read the title. Today I'm going to talk about a specific question that every physics major should get in the habit of asking themselves. Doesn't matter what year you are, but the earlier the better. Now typically when I make these kind of ridiculously helpful and insightful, profound, and extremely modest videos, it's because when I was a physics major I probably did the opposite of the advice that I'm giving. And this video is no exception, so today I want to talk about why every physics major should get in the habit of asking themselves themselves, what do I expect to happen? Now this is an important question to ask no matter what year you are, but I think it's extremely important to develop this habit of asking yourself this as early as possible, and here's why. Anyone can plug numbers into an equation. Anyone can derive an equation if you've seen how to do it before. But what do I expect to happen? That's all on you. That question is a major part of where the critical thinking aspect of physics comes into play. And in a way, I think this is what separates physics from a lot of other majors. I don't think enough majors ask this question. And unfortunately, this wasn't a question I got in a habit of asking myself until pretty late in the game. In fact, I don't think it was until almost my third year of physics to where I truly think I started to make a habit out of this. And this was only because I had a professor that cared enough to throw it in my face that I wasn't thinking as a physics major. I was way too inclined to brute force my way through these nasty integrals, these disgusting physics problems that might have had some symmetry to exploit, and at the end of the day, the problem had a point to make. And that's the thing that would go right over my head because I was just like, alright, let's get through this nasty, you know, spherical integral. Oftentimes, if you find yourself going through all this math and then you get zero at the end, you miss the point of the problem. There's something physical responsible for these kinds of cancellations that happen all the time throughout your undergraduate. And being able to spot these, be able, being able to develop the intuition for this, is just something I really wish I had earlier on. Now one good question that you could ask me now is, Andrew, if I'm just starting out in physics, why the hell would I try to test the intuition that I haven't yet developed? Well that's the beautiful thing about where they place you for your first physics class. It's not like your first course ever is going to be quantum mechanics, a course that's almost intentionally misleading. No, you're going to be doing Newton's laws, you're going to be learning how to describe physics as it is around you, as you see it. So in a sense, it's the best primer possible for being able to test this kind of intuition because you've grown up with it your entire life. And one of the best things that you can take away from thinking like this is that it exposes any assumptions that you're making. And you know what they say, if something doesn't make sense to you, one of your assumptions is wrong. So let's take an example from like first year physics where you have the person who's shooting the gun horizontally and the person who's dropping the bullet from the same height and then someone asks you, what do you expect to happen? Which one do you expect will hit the ground first? You might say, I don't care which one you answer, but you know that the answer at the end of the day is going to be that they hit at the same time. Now, if you got your prediction wrong, you predicted it for a reason, and it'll be easier to uncover why that is if you establish what you thought would happen first, right? You could have just been like, well, one of my assumptions is that I thought that the X and Y components were going to be dependent on each other. So in the future, if someone asks you a quantitative question, I challenge you to think about it more qualitatively first. Don't try to plug in numbers or anything right away. I want you to take a step back and analyze the thing as a whole. How is everything related to each other? But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys found this little bit of advice helpful. Let me know in the comments section if you did. I know that this was a shorter video, but I mean, what did you expect to happen? 